Hey guys, right, back for the second video. Uh, the Astro behind is uh, banging away a little bit, but we're going to be changing the shocks. Um, Dad, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to show you um, the way I do it and how to do it properly and safely. Alright, right there guys, we're going to move around to the side of the car and uh, we're going to show how he does it. Right guys, uh, this is the way to uh, check an Astro up on the, the rear axle. and. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change a shock absorber. Is it? So it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Guys, you must make sure that the jack is always tightened up, otherwise it will come down on you and it's not very really good. Okay guys, and now um, I'm going to take the wheel off before we uh, uh, take the shock off. Uh, I'm going to expect it first, see what it's like, and then I'm going to show you how to take it off. Take it out, it's a tight one. Wheel coming off. Yeah. Fucking hell. I don't think so. Problems, Gary. <laughs> Gosh, she was tight, was she? <laughs> she was. Definitely tight. So you just keep your hand, right? Right. Okay. Okay. This here is your shock. Make sure the dirt come from your uh, your bolt. One here. Come on here. And one here. Okay. okay, so next we get it off. But just to make sure for extra safety, we use an axle stand for your own safety. Okay. So we check it a bit more. You see where it is? Yeah, got it right there, yeah. Okay. Head down slowly. Nope. Bastards. Yeah. Say that, guys. Okay, so that rear axle now is fully supported via that uh, axle stand drive, guys. Uh, just to remember, uh, we've chopped the front wheel. Uh, just to make sure there's no movement there either. And that's for your uh, extra safety as well. Yeah. Look at these springs, man. 
Yeah, no one just comes. Okay, now you gonna talk to him, are you? Yeah. Out of here. <laughs> You can either use a gun or you can use a, a, a wrench, but in my case I'd rather use a gun. Don't go there. Okay. Just top bolt. Yeah. Okay guys, sorry about this. Uh, we had a bit of trouble trying to get this nut off, but uh, we're resuming the program now. So here we go guys. Well there you are guys, one shock absorber. Uh, leaking as you can see uh, all the oil and dirt and rust. It's absolutely gone. And the way you test the shock absorber is push it down and it should come back up by itself. <laughs> but in this case, as you can see guys, that yeah, is, that is knackered. absolutely knackered. So now we uh, replace this shock absorber with a new one. Yeah. So here we go guys. So we got both sides. Uh, we're only going to be recording one side. Uh, the other side is uh, exactly the same. This is what happens when you push the all over down, it should come back up by himself. Yep. And that's how you tell you've got a good shock over. Okay, so here we go guys. Right, so uh, we stick it back on now. Uh, top bolt first. Yeah. Up in a little hole. <coughs> Don't do the bolt all the way up, otherwise you'll have trouble. Okay. So push up the shock absorber now from the bottom. Yeah. Second bolt. Get a shot. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now you do top bolt first. Now the bottom bolt. And that's it guys, that's how easy it is to do a shock absorber. Right guys, I forgot to mention the, the size socket you use on these tall bolts. It's an E20. Right guys, now the job is done. We had a few issues uh, getting the wheel off, uh, but finally we got it off. Uh, now I'm putting the wheel back on. When you put the bolts back on, you put them on hand tightish, and then after you use a torque wrench to 100 foot pounds, and that is the uh, regulations of uh, the law that is for wheels. Okay. So here we go, guys. Still going. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, you couldn't find where the socket was. No. <laughs>
Right guys, now that they're in hand tight, now I'm going to use a torque wrench now to 100 foot pounds. Okay. When it comes to 100 foot pounds, it will click. Stop. There we are guys, job cut all complete. So, yeah, so we just have to uh, drop it to the ground now and uh, do the other side. Just taking out the jack stand. Make sure it's clear. Down she goes. And that, guys, is how you change the shock. Cheers, Dad. Uh, just got to uh, get him to do the other side now. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, there's a the shock stand on the back. Thanks for my Dad. Um, look out for more videos. Please comment and subscribe to our program. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Tala.